So, if uh, you need a good jack for your car, and you don't want to have to use this other crap, this is from a car, and you have to use a tire iron with a little flathead screwdriver, flat tip on it, and comes up. But they don't go up very high, and they don't take much weight. So, if you've got a truck, and you need a jack you can stash under the seats and stuff like that. This one came with a bottle jack like this. It goes way higher, but it needs one of those... Uh, hooks with the big handle on it and stuff. I don't like those and didn't have one anyway. I got a bunch of these jacks. That one's fully extended. This one goes way higher. So what I did was got one of these suckers, which is for like tightening wires and stuff. You've got these spinny ends on them. You hook in and tighten them up. Got some JB weld and welded. They uh, glued that sucker in there all through the thread so she's solid as a rock. And if you're like me, you might have an extra wrench or two laying around. So, the nice little flat wrench, nice little short tool there, and uh, she'll fit under the seat nice. Just like that, you get her set all nice. When you're ready, all you have to do is hook the wrench on, and it'll come up at the right spot, and in any angle you like, and you can spin that sucker nice and fast with lots and lots of leverage, so you won't have to strain yourself getting it on and off. And that will hide nicely underneath your seats or in your under seat storage or whatever else and get you out of a, a jam and a pinch. I mean, there's not much sense having big tires and an extra spare and stuff and then not being able to change it yourself. Then, since you got the jack stuff going, all you need is a uh, breaker bar and a socket for your wheel lugs. And uh, one like this is good enough to hide in anywhere. It's just a little breaker bar, 10 bucks, or Get one that's a little longer if you want a little extra leverage, depending on your strength. And uh, you throw that in there with a socket. It takes up way less space than all those big tire irons and cross sign ones and all that kind of nonsense. And then at least you're all covered. That should go in your truck at all times because it's really embarrassing to be a four-wheel drive pickup truck, get yourself stuck somewhere simple, and uh, not be able to lift yourself up at all. Anyway, handy little hack uh, for some cheap stuff that works good and uh, save you a lot of time.